Okay. Okay, so it looks like it's recording. Uh, at the, um, this is the beginning of the meeting, so I'd like to request that all the uh, commissioners um, and also the public that is on the meeting mute themselves if you're not speaking. And this meeting is being recorded per Governor Lamont's Executive Order 7 B. So with that said, this is the Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, meeting of the Town of Weathersfields, Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission. Tonight we have a public hearing as well as our public meeting. It's a virtual meeting in accordance with the governor's executive order due to the pandemic. Uh, at this point in the meeting, we have a general comment period for the public. So if there's any public on the call, um, they may um, bring things to our attention. And then also before the meeting, there was a period of time that uh, they could also reach out to town staff to uh, bring any concerns up to us. So Don, did, did the public reach out to you at all or? No, I've got no comments from the public. Okay. Is there anybody on the call that would like to add? Anything? Okay, sensing that there's no um, general comments, move on to the public hearing uh, portion of the meeting. This is for application number 724-20. It's for the town of Weathersfield and it's for the regulation amendments uh, and it's an application to amend and update the Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission regulations. I'm with us tonight to give a brief uh, description of the edits to the Inland Wetland regulations uh, is done. Okay. Is um, that done? Yep. The, the purpose for the uh, uh, regulation changes is uh, there's a several of them that's to stay current with the state statutes, uh, correct some gr grammatical errors in language uh, in, in the regulations, and add language. Uh, I'm get my glasses. Add did language. You, did you have to read the public hearing notice at all, Don? Yeah, I'll get to that. In the, okay. In this. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Uh, add language and definitions related to the general permit for the discharge of the storm water from municipal separate storm sewers. Uh, to revise section 96-45 to allow planning and zoning to review erosion and sedimentation control plan as part of planning and zoning applications and and also to change the name of the commission to the uh, Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission. Um, the legal notice for the public hearing appeared in the Hartford Current on August 6th and August 13th. And it was also posted at the, July, uh, at the town clerks on July 10th. Uh, copies were made available in the town clerk's office on July 28th and also put on the town website on August 6th. Um, for the record, we did receive correspondence and email correspondence from uh, Darcy Winter at DEP with um, some suggestions and a, and a couple uh, corrections that she felt would need to be done. On uh, that information, I forwarded it to the commissioners um, this morning, I believe, that letter. Um, some of some couple of the uh, parts of the, her, her uh, email are suggestions. Uh, the, the authority part was a suggestion and the definitions was a suggestion on com compensa compensatory storage and um, the permitted operation and uses comment. There was a comma that needed to be added into one section and a change in the agency's uh, decision timeline, changing it from 65 days to 35 days. Those, those two items are, are uh, items that need to be um, addressed. Um, in addition to that, she did go through quite a, a list of suggestions she had on other parts of the regulations that we may want to consider at, an, at another date and time. She would be also be willing to come into the, uh, to meet with the commission and town attorney and go over her suggestions at, at some point in time. No, that's... 
that's everything. That's it. Yeah, that's everything I have. All right. Uh, it's been a while since we did a public hearing, so um, I guess we have with the presentation by town staff, I guess we have a period of um, for the public to comment on the public hearing. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Okay, so at this point in time, uh, we'll take any uh, comments from the public on their proposed uh, text changes to the in the wetland regulations. And I haven't received any. Okay. And then we can open it up for discussion at this point. Did you guys want to discuss the changes and any of the comments that the DEP had? I know most people are muted, but. Okay, I'll, I got a couple of things. I, I tried the raise hand function on this thing. I don't know if it showed oh. up or not. No, I didn't see it. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, only only a couple of things. I was looking on page 11, uh, near the top of the page, uh, property has got an extra P in it. Uh, so it's just a spelling correction. Um, page 11. Near, near the top of the page. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, the only other thing I had is uh, thank you for adding in the thing about the applicant showing up for the meetings, must appear at the meetings. That's on the application form. Uh, I was thinking about it and uh, say the applicant or property owner is perhaps out of state. Should we add something in that maybe uh, or a representative authorized in writing uh, in, in case the applicant is unable or to appear? personally like a designated agent yeah quite often we have an engineer or an architect or somebody who's appearing you know most often if they're local people they show up but if for instance it was somebody from out of state maybe uh you know just to allow for an authorized representative i i think we do have that in the regulations is it okay yeah, that we require you know um, a note from the owner from the property owner that whoever's representing them is authorized to to, to represent oh, them. so as long as they show then we're okay yes and i usually oh. get a letter letter from the applicant uh, yeah from the owner that that the applicant is authorized to present the application to us okay all right thank you And I agreed with the, the two edits that um, DEP was requiring us to do with respect to the permitted operations and uses, adding that comma, and then also changing the time frame. Um, as far as the other suggestions, would you guys want to entertain any of the, you know, talking with Darcy at all? No, we could do that in a future meeting. Don't necessarily have to do it now. Uh, question, w will the town council, uh, will we or the, and the town council be voting on the present revision as I it is before would. talking to Darcy in the state? It's, I guess that's up up to you. You don't. I don't think you need town council approval. No. no. I, I've talked to town uh, attorney and asked him that question, and we don't. You don't need town council approval to, to approve the changes. Because we're, yeah. Because yeah, some of the some of the suggestions he has more, kind of streamlines it to the focus on inland wetlands and and. Um, water courses as opposed to, you know, we have, we do regulate the floodplain 
for the town, as well as, you know, regulate erosion controls too. Okay. So. Some, some of her suggestions were to take that out of our regulations, take those things out of the regulations if practical. Give it some of it to planning and zoning. Well, you know, for it, we, we're, the, we're still also, such as it is, conservation. So that's an additional task. Right. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, to me, the regulations, I mean, a couple of things she said is like, you know, and we've been, you know, erosion, we've been doing that for years. Now, granted, some of it's being transferred over, but it's still on our, uh, what we're doing. So it still should be mentioned in our regulations. Uh, Pratt, would it be helpful is that 96.2 the kind of, you know, gives the authority. You now, and it just speaks to inland wetland stuff, but perhaps should other things be added there to show that, yeah, we got authority to do some other things besides just the inland wetlands? Would that clarify things for her? So she'd know that, yeah, we're not just inland wetlands, we're conservation and a number of other things. Right, I think she understood that, but I think she was leaning more towards narrowing it down to more staying with just wetlands and not, not into the soil erosion, not into the flood zone. It would be wiser for us to just stick with wetlands. So. So that's kind of a more of a broader discussion. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of cross that bridge though when we combine the conservation thing in here and the other stuff. I mean, we discussed that at the time and the town council wanted us to take those over. So we've got yeah. it. But she, I think she would be willing to come in and, you know, explain her, her, her suggestions and their suggestions to. Yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, we don't have to do that now. We can do that at a future time too. I, I think it would be wise to at least listen to her at some future time. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Clark. I, you know, I, I think we, we, we can hear what she has to say. So. All right. Um, so with that, there's nothing stopping us from closing the public hearing tonight, Don? No. Okay. So do we have a motion to, to close the public hearing? So moved. And do we have a second? I'll second it. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so moving on to the meeting. I lost my agenda. Uh, so now moving on to the public meeting portion of the meeting, we have application number 724-20, uh, Town of Weathersfield. It's a regulation amendment. It's the appli application to amend the and update the Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission regulations. So we had a bit of a discussion already on this. Um, we could put some conditions on the approval, such as incorporating the the comment into the permitted operations and uses, as well as the edit to incorporate the um, the 35 day time frame as Darcy specified, as well as uh, the edits that that Brent had. That makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, which edits? Yeah, I. I I think the only thing you'd have to is just the, the spelling of property because Don said that the thing about applicants representative where it was included in the regulation. Yeah. Okay. So, it was on page, page 11. 11. Yeah, just page 11, it's a small thing. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Yeah, one one question uh, on the title the, the title page it still says inland wetlands and watercourses regulations uh, it doesn't say anything about conservation yeah that'll so. be changed and and I got to update the date down at the bottom 
the effective date. Oh, okay. Yep. So, so that's going to say who, what the regulations are. Oh, okay. Well, or does it? Just thinking out loud with the, because we don't really regulate conservation. Or maybe I'm thinking too much. No, maybe you're right. Well, again, mm -hmm. don't just do inland wetlands and water courses. Yeah. So uh, that, you know. See some places we 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 a couple places like the title that that title page and there's someplace else we do call it inland wetlands and water courses regulations, but in a, a lot of other places we refer to the inland wetlands and conservation commission. So, right, because that's our proper name. Yeah, I mean, would that the fact that we have this on the front cover would that be confusing to anybody or misleading? Unfortunately, it's probably confusing, but accurate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good analysis. Yeah. That one's a water course regulation. We can make that a condition to to have Don come up with some language that makes sense to go in there. Yeah, I can, I can, I can check, check, check what other, how other towns label their yeah. cover sheet. Yeah, other towns have that conservation thing in there too. Yeah, yeah. what they do. This way, you know, kind of almost lines up line for line. Okay, these, this, this regulation goes with this commission. I could see how that could be confusing to somebody if it doesn't match up. Anything else you guys think? No? Okay, so do we have a, a motion to approve with the, um, the conditions that we just discussed? So moved, I'll make the motion. And then do we have a second? I'll second. That's Clark. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that, that passes. Uh, moving on to the Conservation Commission business. Uh, so Don, do you have an update on how the uh, inventory of open space and... Well, we, still, we still have the inventory. We're still trying to get it into a, a more... A more current format. Okay. So, like it, it's it's as we have time, we're we're working on it. So. That's good. Uh, moving on to the general business portion of the meeting. So we have the meeting minutes from the July fifteenth, twenty twenty meeting. Uh, on page two, I did have a a markup. Uh, that I did email Suzanne and um, and Don on. So it's on the fourth paragraph down. Uh, Chairman Culpa asked if the proposed drive will also function as yard drain. Um, there was a response in the second sentence there. So Mr. Johnson explained the surface whale is directed towards the drive well. So we'll be adding Mr. Johnson explained to that second sentence in the beginning. Oh. It kind of dovetails with the, the two sentences that or two paragraphs that follow. That's all I had.
Anybody have any other markups? No, we're good. So do we have a, a motion to approve uh, the meeting minutes with that, that minor edit? I'll move to approve the minutes with that minor edit. Okay, and do we have a second? Second. Or do you have an edit, Brent? No, I don't. No. Oh, okay. Nope. All right, so put it to a vote. It's all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Anybody? So that passes. And then, aside from the correspondence from DEP, do we have any other have correspondence down? No, I don't have anything else. Okay. And do we have anything else to discuss? No, I'm good. Okay. So do we have... I've, can oh, I just ask sorry, a question? Right? Do, do we have any uh, business having to do with that Knott Street and um, Church Street project that's going on? Or we have we already done whatever we had to do there? Mm -hmm. We're going to rip up the street, put in pipes and... Yeah, no, uh, there's not much for us to do. There was questions about the uh, contractor where he was storing material, you know, yeah. and, and I went to planning and so zoning. There was some flood zone areas down there that he was going to stay out of, but, um, and so far he has. And other, other than that, we, it's a, strictly a water, water main replacement within church yeah. and North Street. Oh, okay, because I, I, I kind of recalled, I remember one time Kelstrom had something, we had something to do with the brook down there and yeah. and other things years yeah. ago. Did they ever do that? Yeah, they did some work in the, yeah. they, they did that. Okay, so they did clean up the contaminated soil. And then the question I had last meeting too is how to recuse yourself. And I think oh. Don came up with a solution on that. So I think, we, I think Trish can put us in a waiting room and then bring us back. Yeah, that's yeah, that's how it can work. We tr we experimented with it today. Has tried it out, and that that'll work. Okay. Okay. And then the digital meetings are working for everybody pretty well, or yeah, finally. As long as we have internet connection, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay. And then, do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn. And then do we have a second on that? Second. So all in favor? Aye. 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 That's it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good to see you all, too. Yeah, good to yeah, see you, too, guys. Too.